Hi everyone. Okay, after doing uh, the last flick and spin in brown and pink using uh, boom colors, I really wanted to do one where I've mixed all my own colors. So let's do another flick and spin today. Um, just quickly about the colors, I've mixed uh, three different browns and three different pinks. So first of all, the darkest brown I have, this is a uh, Van Dyke brown mixed with just a tiny bit of uh, titanium white, just to lighten it ever so slightly. Okay, and then the next one is again uh, Van Dyke brown, um, Deco Art Antique Bronze, a uh, little bit of Quinacridone Magenta, just to give it that coppery uh, colour. That is a really nice colour actually, I like it. And a little bit of white, again, just to uh, lighten it up. And then the lightest one, yet again, the uh, Van Dyke Brown. Uh, this one's got yellow ochre and pearl whites in it as well. All Amsterdam paints in that one there. Okay, and then my pinks. Um, the darkest one, this is uh, Liquitex uh, Quinacridone Magenta with Amsterdam pearl white. That's a really nice sort of a darkish hot pink almost. And then this is a really odd mix of, um, uh, it's got Liquitex Titanium White, uh, Quinacridone Magenta, Amsterdam Deep Gold, and a little bit of Deco Art 20 Karat Gold, just to give it that nice, nice salmon color. I really, really adore that color. And then finally, sort of a more baby pinky colour. This is uh, Deco Art uh, Metallics Berry colour with uh, titanium white to lighten it. And that is a really, really lovely colour with a bit of sheen to it. Okay, and then my base paint, which is this time a little bit thicker than the, than the ones I'm going to puddle in the middle. This is mainly white with a bit of uh, grey uh, that was left over from a pe uh, previous pour. So it's not pure white. It's got a little bit of a little bit of a colour to it. But yeah, rather a nice colour. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm just going to put in a nice big pillow, and I'm going to worry about the rest. Just a little bit later. I'll just do it that way around this time. And I know I might have some gunk in here because this is a previously used pot. Okay, just get rid of those. Although they will most likely fly off. Okay, so I'm just gonna get on with uh, laying down the colors now. Um, I'll alternate browns and blacks in a fairly random order, I should think.
Right, I think I am done playing with this. Um, I'm just going to tidy up real quick and I'll bring you in for a close-up. And here's the final result. Okay, I love the right-hand side. I think it looks gorgeous, you know, like a big, bold flower. The left-hand side ugh, went a bit messy. I didn't flick um, at the same same speed as I did with the uh, the right hand side, but that's cool. Um, I might do something, something or rather to try and fix it later, but I'm not sure. So for now, I'm just going to leave this to dry. I do really, really like the shimmer that I'm getting there and the scent it worked out really well. Um, this technique can be problematic with the center. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, um, Nate had an excellent uh, solution for it, the balloon dip, but I'm happy with that center. So yeah, I will get back to this uh, once it's dry. I'll speak to you then. Bye-bye. So here's the dried result. Um, I love the way it dried. Absolutely no problem at all. But I really am bothered by this mess just here so i don't know what i was thinking i might actually do is um do some masking off but this time using masking tape um that uh imagine that's the right um edge of a petal and that's the left edge that's clearly a petal there and then we've got a bunch of mess here the next petal goes like so and from here like so and that actually has a really nice curvy effect to it and then a bunch of mess here in the background and then we have another petal this side i am absolutely so happy with so i'm gonna leave that side alone so really i've just got sort of two gaps there and there between the petals to so out. So I'm going to get to masking those off. I'll see you soon. Here I'm just taping the uh, flower off. Um, I decided to go with uh, packing tape because there was so much uh, to cover. I wanted to cover the whole flower because I decided I wanted to do uh, spray paint. And in all my excitement, I forgot to video the uh, spray painting. But yeah, I used a white and then a Prussian blue around the edges. And here I'm just removing, removing all that packing tape, um, revealing that beautiful, beautiful background and just doing a little bit of uh, final, final tidying up. There was some tape stuck to the canvas, so had to remove that and then just clean, uh, cleaned up some of the edges with uh, acrylic pen. Here's the final result, happily hanging out with the uh, <laughs> with the other one on my wall. So yeah, I'm really glad I went through the trouble of uh, taping off the uh, flower and then spray painting the inside with uh, first white and then the edges with uh, Prussian blue. So yeah, they're both uh, Amsterdam spray paints. I really, really, really like this look, but I'm a little bit... Um, unsure what to do about the uh, varnish i don't want to resin it the reason being i'm not sure if you can see in the video but the um the petals are a little bit shiny as is the prussian blue but then the white is completely matte and i like that um contrast there so a little bit unsure what to do what would you do and anyway i'd love to hear what you think overall so please leave me a comment and a like and if you haven't already please subscribe if you'd like to see more of this kind of stuff and thanks ever so much for joining me see you next time bye